Hello there, YouTubers and uh, fellow uh, Lionel train fanatics alike. This is uh, Commodore Irvin again with another Lionel review. This time I'm going to review with you uh, some more catalogs for my collection. And this time I'm going to do two of them. And they are the 1985 catalogs. The um, Collector Series catalog and the Traditional Series catalog. And I'm going to show them both to you all in full. And this was actually a very, very, very good year for Lionel because this was their 85th anniversary. As you can see on the front cover, the um, collector's box car for that year it says "Good as Gold 1985" and Lionel is in gold lettering. So let's take a look. We have the collector's box car in the corner, and then we have this beautiful uh, Illinois Central City of New Orleans. Really, really beautiful train. And this actually was a real train. The city of New Orleans was a superb example of the uh, daytime coach streamliner. It was one of America's fastest trains. Inaugurated April 47, it made a daily run of 921 miles between Chicago and New Orleans on a breakfast and midnight schedule. These beautiful orange and brown streamliners hit top speed of 100 miles on one of the fastest stretches of roadbed in North America. And I actually looked this engine up, and this is a very expensive train. Even from this era, it is expensive. And because you got the two F units, that was one thing. The B unit was separate. You had to buy that separately. And the thing that really was weird, because in the older F units, the, the horn was in the powered unit, but in these, the it was the B unit that housed the electronic horn. So if you wanted a horn, you had to buy that. And they had a baggage car, a combo car, uh, about two passenger cars, a dining car, and an observation car. Uh, there's a Burlington Northern train. The train it was called the Burlington Northern uh, Burlington Northern Limited, and uh, it has um, this uh, SD40 locomotive, which I'm not a big fan of them type of engines, but it's got like five box cars and a caboose, and they all look the same. And basically, they are the same except each one's differently numbered, which I'm not a real big fan of this set. Now this I'm a big fan of. This is a famous American Railroad series number five, the Pennsylvania, and this is a model of the 6200 steam turbine. And I actually like this engine. This is actually one of my favorite engines Lionel made altogether. One of them is a turbine. The version of it that they produced actually originally was produced in um, 1954 and 55 as the 682 because of this little lubricator linkage. And the cars you could have bought that could go with it's a covered hopper, double door box car, single door box car, a tank car, and a porthole caboose. Which in fact this was not together. It was actually sold separately. And then you got multiple pieces of operating cars like the tent, tent ballast hamper, poultry car, milk car, horse car, and then all these different box cars. And there's more box cars and now they even have refrigerator cars that have the uh, names of uh, liquor on them. So that's kind of different. And then accessories include Freight's Depot, the Switch Tower, the Control Tower, the Barrel Drum Loader. And that's it. That's the last of that one. See, 1985 Fun Dimensions Division of CPG Products. See, the Fun Dimensions era, which a lot of collectors and people that love live trains not really give too much about that era. But... And here we go, this is actually one of my other favorite catalogs, the 1985 Traditional Series, because they actually brought back, they brought back actual artwork, like from like the post-war era. And it talks about it up here, and you can see right there, uh, Joshua Lyle Cowan in the corner there. And this is the Midland Freight. It had a little 040 saddle tank engine, a gondola, a... Um, a crane car, a hopper, and a bobber caboose, which you can actually see the actual product down here and see the actual things there, but I just love the fact they brought back the actual illustrations for trains. Uh, the Southern Streak was another set that was offered in that year. It had a consisting of cars, and there's the train itself there. Uh, the Redwood Valley Express was another train offered that year, which is actually not too bad looking of a train. Um, Two other trains that were offered that year, including the Chessie System Freight, which I like the illustration for it, and this 
Northern Freight Flyer, which I actually like getting my hands on this one. I like the consist of all these cars, and there, there it is right there. If I can actually find one of these Northern Freight Flyers, I'm going to buy one, because I, I like the Chicago Northwestern, and I like the particular sort of my cars it comes with. Um, oh, and this is another one I want to get to. This one's called the Yard Chief. It's got a 040 switcher with a bunk car, a surf flight car, a gondola canister, a um, crane car, and a work caboose. And this is actually a train set you could buy. It's a New York Central freight set, or a work train. But it didn't come with tracks, so it was what they call a premium set. And this thing is really, really fucking awesome. I want to get one. If I get one, I'll definitely show it off. And these are a separate engine they had, including the Erie Lackawanna GP20, Burlington uh, Northern S1 switcher, a U.S. Marine S1 switcher, and a Redding 442 diecast steamer. See, diecast metal engine. That was a big deal. Um, some bunch of rolling stock. I mean, a ton of rolling stock in operating cars, including the giraffe car, log loader, Dairy car, dump car. A lot of these cars were actually remakes of post-war cars. So. Accessories including the automatic highway flasher, the illuminate freight station, switchman, whistling freight shed, and diesel horn shed, and all these lights and bumpers and stuff. Uh, more op more accessories there include like the water tower. The Rico Station, I want to get one of these. Uh, freight Depot, Extension Bridge, and signs and platforms and stuff, which is all stuff I'd like to get my hands on too for my train layout. And finally, you got your track and stuff. This is this is way before fast track, so this would be like the old, like either 027 or 03110 plate track, as you can see here and there. And then, yeah, that's, that's it. And see, there's the back of the catalog right there. And so, yeah. They're, like I said, these are pretty short catalogs, but I like these catalogs, though, because this is the 85th anniversary of the Lionel um, Electric Train Company, so I think they're pretty cool. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at those catalogs as much as I enjoyed showing them to you. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit a thumbs up on it. And if you like my channel in general, just hit subscribe and hit the notifications. And so whenever I upload anything new, you can stay up on top of it. So until next time, this is Commodore Urban saying have full steam ahead and I hope the track is clear for you.